Welcome to the video series, How to Build Your Own Food Truck with me, Frank Baltierrez. And in today's video, we're, I'm actually gonna show you something because I've received this question quite a bit, is how do you hold like your prep fridge and your equipment from like falling all over the place? And I've experimented with a few things and I'm gonna show you the way that I found works best in my food truck that I have not the one that we're building for the food truck series where I take you step by step on how you can build your own food truck and trailer. So let's walk inside. Let me show you one of the tips and tricks that I use so my stuff's not all over the place while I'm driving. So let's come on in. So in the beginning when I built my food truck, which again is rolling burritos, uh, I, I did go and Google different things. I'm like, how do I keep my prep fridge and for example, like my equipment, my cooking equipment from moving because it is pretty heavy, especially like this prep fridge right here. You guys can see it moves a lot. And imagine you hit potholes, you hit, uh, you know, different things on the street. This thing just goes, wah, 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 right? Imagine you have all your food, the doors open and it's just a mess in here. So what I did in the beginning is I added these L brackets that you can see right here and they do work really nice. However, uh, with time, you obviously wear and tear and you know, you're driving around, the screws get loose. And I just got tired of like having to check them all the time. So then I was just kind of experimenting with different things. And I ran across these cool little things right here. Let me show you, this is what I use. It's called a quick support rod. Because I was like, what can I use to like push it together against the wall and push this towards that wall because then that puts pressure on both sides. And so what I came up with is one, this is something that I used in the beginning, kind of like those childproof locks that you have, you probably have at home with your cabinets because my doors kept opening all the time. So that's what I use in the beginning, right? You just latch it, unlatch it, and then obviously that'll hold your door open from not, from not opening. But I found something better because there's gotta be a better way. So what I did is I took this quick support rod and I put it onto the side right here, the wall, of the trailer on this side facing the stainless steel and then I put the other one because these have little grippers and I put this one on the prep fridge just like that and then I twist it because it's adjustable this one is two foot five inches all the way to four foot one inch so that's what I use here and as you can see when you're driving this helps it out so much because this prep fridge is not going anywhere and you really don't need the L brackets anymore it is nice to have them, I guess, as a safety precaution. You can use them as well. But this right here is one of the best things that I found. The only thing that you gotta always remember is that you always gotta climb over if you get stuck on the other side. And then what I did over here on the cooking equipment, if you guys can follow me around here, I'll show you the other tip. Because this weighs about, what, 300, 400 pounds? So it gets pretty heavy. And obviously if you have a burner, it depends on your cooking equipment, but regardless of whatever you have, it's heavy and you don't want it to just topple over. So you wanna support it obviously from the legs, but you wanna have this table as well pressed up against the wall. So we're gonna do the same way. But this one, I couldn't find one that was like the right size. So I had to get the little, this is the same size, two foot six and four foot six. So what we do here is I come right here and all you do is you kinda of just press this button because it attaches, it gets longer and bigger. So I put this on this table and what I did this is I put it on my uh, prep table right here. And I do the same thing, I put it there, and then you just twist it. Because this is gonna hold that cooking thing right there, and you put it right on the leg. And as you can see, that holds all of this together, and all of this together. But this is something that you use when you wanna hold the benches together. I have one more thing that I did not put on this food truck that I think is really important for you to add to your cooking equipment. Let me show it to you because I used it on my second build and I'm gonna use it on the third build, but let me grab it from the garage and I'm gonna show you what you should put on your legs of your cooking equipment so you can attach it really nicely and for sure nothing's gonna fall away. So give me one second. So how I secure my tanks uh, I buy the undermount style tanks and that really helps out because they have like a lip with it and that lip like kind of like covers over the three compartment sink right here. So that lip kind of hugs that leg right there and it provides it security for it not to move. The also, also another thing that I add to the, to the tanks are these L brackets just like you would add on that um, 
on the tables just so they won't move around. I put them right here on the L bracket. Make sure you buy the galvanized ones. They're a little bit better than just the zinc. Uh, as you can see, like these, I'll probably have to replace them soon because if they get water or something on them, they start getting a little bit rusty. So make sure you buy the galvanized L brackets. They're a little bit more pricey, but it's really worth the investment for you to put in your truck. Only put the best quality products that you can. And I also put another L bracket on this side over here. If you guys can see, there's an L bracket on this side, right by the fire tank. And then you have an L bracket like I saw you, you saw right here on this side. So that helps out um, on the water tanks. So when you're commuting around once again, you don't and you have all this shifting because it's gonna happen. And if you have a trailer, obviously even more because you, you're in the front with the truck. So you're never gonna see what happens back here. You'll see the aftermath of something that happens. So again, you don't want anything to happen. And this video is just a informative, what I do in my food truck, being rolling burritos, uh, taking care of my equipment, taking care of my machines, taking care of everything that moves or can move and shift while you're transporting your goods to the community. So again, let's get out of here. Let's continue working. So I'm gonna show you something that I've been using consistently on all the food truck, like the builds and the step-by-step -step tutorials that I do. And one thing that I add, if you can see here on my food truck, on the leg, I didn't know about this, so I don't have these uh, flange feet that I'm about to show you but I did screw it from the bottom up and it has worked well for the past two years. But this option right here works really well. I did not find these on Amazon, just so you know, I found these at Lowe's. It's an inch and a quarter flange foot. Let me open it for you so you can see it. So this right here gets, imagine that's your table over there. The legs from the cooking equipment literally just fall right into place right here. So, and then it has a, uh, almost like an Allen key, like a safety key like that. So you are able to secure it and that'll press up to the leg. And then these, you use four stainless steel screws, or even you can use bolts if you want to put nuts underneath for more security, but screws work fine. And then you just set your cooking equipment right there. And that so far has been something that has provided even more safety Imagine for us, right, food truck owners that we're driving around and we want to make sure that everything is in place and it never moves because imagine this thing falling while you're driving and you come up here, your gas line will break, you have a 300, 400 pound piece of equipment on the floor, that's never a pretty sight. One thing that I also use, you guys can see here on the legs, on the bottom, this right here is something that you should use on your tables, it's called the flange feet for your prep tables. Those are separate from the actual table because these just come with like something that you would probably use at a restaurant or something, but these are really nice to use. I just ordered 18 of them. They're about 200, there are 18 of them were about 200 bucks a pop. So you can, they're about $10 each right around there. So you guys can get a visual, but they're very, very important things that you need for your food truck build. So I just wanted to share some things that I use for safety while I'm transporting all my equipment in the road towards like an event or a catering or something like that. So again, Frank Voltieres on the video series, How to Build Your Food Truck. Thanks again for subscribing. And don't forget, we're continuing the build that we're doing right now, and we're gonna be starting the plumbing and the gas lines here pretty soon. So I'm just waiting on things to come in. My flange feet literally just showed up today. So those are nice because I can put the three compartments sink in now. So again, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for watching.